Well, good morning, Magandang Umaga, and welcome to today's episode of My PI Dream. Boy, do we have a great episode for you for today. If you are wanting to retire in the Philippines, if you enjoy the leisure activities such as golf, and if you just want to come and enjoy a peaceful resort type of a community, I think today's episode is for you. So without further delay, let's get today's video underway. Now, we are extremely excited to be on location today at Mount Melorite Golf and Country Club here just outside of Lipa City, Batangas. Uh, it's kind of it's weird to think that they have such really great facilities like this great championship golfing in the Philippines, but today you are going to experience that along with our review and our walkthrough of this entire facility. Now there's actually a story behind this mango tree. This is a mango tree. And the story as it goes, which was told to me by my friend John here today, is that this tree uh, was the original tree on this location. And then somebody tried to cut down the tree before they started building the, the resort and uh, the golf club here. And then uh, there were some bad things that happened to that person. And and they said there are uh, tools that just cannot cut this. So with superstition as they have it here inside the Philippines, that is the main reason why this beautiful mango tree is still here and rightly so. So in the club here, they also have two restaurants. They have two restaurants, the Sand Trap Cafe, and they specialize in American, uh, Western, and Filipino food inside here. Let's go ahead and take a look inside. And for things like small meetings, they have this other room that's attached to the side of the uh, Sand Trap Cafe, which has still a great view of the golf course as well. Now for that special after lunch or after dinner treat, just outside the Sand Trap Cafe, you have all these specialty treats in the form of cakes and pies and uh, dessert type of dishes, as well as a big assortment of different type of breads. Across from the Sand Trap Cafe is the Katsu Kimchi restaurant over here as well. And if you're more in tune with things like uh, Japanese or Korean cuisines, this is the place to go. Let's go ahead and walk inside. Private service here, and this is John right here. John works. John works for Mount Mallory right, right here, and he's going to take us around on the golf cart and show us uh, a lot of the different features for the course itself. Because this actually, there are three courses out here, and we're going to talk a little bit about that a little bit more as as we go along. Now, before we actually talk about this hole right here which is one of the signature golf holes here uh, both here at Malaride and around the world I just want to talk a little bit about Malaride itself this golf course and this community this community is actually 1200 meters above sea level and and it's boasted as being the second highest to Tagaytay in this region it is on 222 hectares of golf course country club and residential community 
It has 27 hole all weather champion golf course and it, it was designed by the architectural group J. Michael Pellett Group, world renowned for golf architecture. Now there are three golf courses here at Mount Malariat Golf and Country Club and they're made up of Lobo, Malipuño and Mukulot. Mukulat. And if you know from Villa Feliz episodes, we can see from our back porch, we can see both Malariat, which is over on the other side of this hill right here, and Mukulok is way on the other side over there. But you can't see it from here because we're down below the tree line. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and we're going to look at one of the signature holes here, which is this one right here. It's hole number seven on Mukulok. This is a signature golf hole. Let's ask John, our tour guide here, what makes this what makes this a signature golf uh, hole here at Malariot and one of the top 500 around the world? John, tell me something. You told me earlier that this is a signature golf hole here, and it's one of 500 of signature golf holes around the world. Something special about it. What makes this one so special? Yeah, this is our uh, the, uh, we called it uh, our signature hole because this is voted as one of the top 500 best holes in the whole world by Asian Golf Magazine, sir. Yeah, because it is also uh, called as our signature hole because uh, the level of difficulty, as you can see, we have a lake uh, in between and then trees. So something I just want to show you here that's a little different than I've seen from many other type of facilities like this, golf courses in particular, is they have their own fishing pond here. This fishing pond that goes all the way around here. And if you are a guest here at the resort, uh, you can get the, the fishing pole and all the things that you need to, to fish while you are here. And if you see this little triangle over here, they have their own helipad right here. So if there is a guest that wants to come inside here from the heavens above and fly into <laughs> Malariot and do some golfing here, they actually have the facilities here to accommodate helicopters. Now, if you happen to be golfing here at Mount Malariot Golf and Country Club, uh, and you happen to be on this part of the golf course right here, which what part of the golf course is this right here? Uh, this is located between the hole number eight of Malipono and then hole number eight of Lobo. Okay, uh, well, if you have to be in this location, and it's beautiful because you have an opportunity. I Every one of the courses here are absolutely gorgeous and well maintained. Uh, this statue is sitting here, and this was a gift. My understanding, this was a gift to the owner, to the owner, right, of yeah. of uh, Mount Malariot uh, Golf and uh, Country Club here. And it really looks like, uh, if you're familiar with the the uh, the statues, the headstones that are on like Easter Island, it looks just like that. So this is real interesting, uh, a really nice point of interest if you happen to be golfing out here. Now conveniently located side by side are hole number one for both the Malapuno course and the Lobo course. Normally during the regular week hours that they have operations here, uh, there will be a staff here that will assist you if you have any questions when you are here golfing. Today is Monday, it's a day off for maintenance and that's why we have the ability to go around and see everything without interrupting anybody on the course. They also have a putting green, the putting green right in front of the driving range on the other side so all this is conveniently located right in this area by the clubhouse if you want to do some practicing prior to getting out on the course.
Now, after a great day on the golf course, it's great to come back to the locker room. Uh, the locker room uh, for the men and the women uh, has a front desk. There'll be a receptionist there. He'll issue you a towel, issue you some slippers. If you have some golf shoes, they'll even do cleaning of the cleats and everything on your golf shoes and return to you when you leave. Uh, just head on down to uh, the lockers and uh, you'll be uh, assigned a uh, locker number from the front desk and go ahead and put your stuff inside there, uh, grab your towel, head on into the nice clean showers and go ahead and get relaxed so that you can continue on to whatever the next thing that you want to do for the day. Uh, they also have a massage area where if you want to schedule yourself a massage both in the men's and the women's locker room, you can go ahead and schedule that ahead of time at the front desk. And here we are at the country club. Uh, this is the place that you're gonna go uh, for country club activities as well as registering and setting up your hotel. And when you first come in, this is the registration desk. If you have accommodations here, and you're here on for a vacation or for a short, short stay. While we're here at the hotel, we are visiting the, G G the Jose P. Laurel Hall. And uh, Jose P. Laurel was the president during the years 1943 to 1945 here in the Philippines. And for those of you who remember, that was during the Second World War. And what makes us special is he is the first Filipino president from Batangas to play golf. Now this hall is actually really good for special events like weddings. It will accommodate, depending on how they set up the tables inside here, 300, 350 uh, people. It depends on how they, again, how they set up all of the tables and maybe they have some kind of a buffet going on inside here as well. It has a great view. Yeah, for, at the veranda, you can see the perfect view of our this is a Mother Riot Fountain Ray. Yeah, this is, this is a great view, right? Actually, I dumped my ball right around there. <laughs> For that special event like a wedding, you can't beat the scenery in the backdrop that you'll find here at Mount Mallory Golf and Country Club. It's absolutely beautiful. And last but not least, the ballroom. They have a huge gathering area if you have a super big event that you need to book a party or a big event for as well. That's my understanding that John is working with the receptionist behind the reception desk uh, to get us some keys to some of the rooms. We'll get an opportunity to take a look at what both rooms look like and what amenities they offer. Now I understand you have some keys to show us some rooms around here. Is that true? Yes, sir. Okay, great. Oh, well, thank you very much. Thank you. This is great. Sir, in this level, sir, majority of the rooms are the loft rooms. These are the loft rooms. Okay. All right. Open the lights. Yeah. For the loft rooms, we have two single beds and the one king, uh, one queen bed downstairs sir, with bathroom and bathroom. Okay. So this is a uh, lake. Uh, and, and from this extra room right here is where we visited earlier. Yep. You could see the uh, where the fishing is done out here, the, uh, the pond, and the helipad up here as well. We getting any VIPs coming in here today flying in? As of today, we don't have VIPs. No VIPs today? <laughs> oh, we have one. You're oh, the yeah. VIP for today. I am the VIP today. <laughs> oh, look at the peacock down here. A couple of, oh, several of them. See what the loft looks like. Yeah.
Right, we just left the loft room and we're going to go down to take a look at the deluxe room. We're going to meet you downstairs. Okay. <laughs> Okay, for our deluxe rooms, this is good for two kids and two adults, sir. For the bed configuration, we have two queen beds. Now leaving the building of here that houses the deluxe and the loft rooms inside there for accommodations and we're going to the next building there's a building over here that the rooms are suite rooms and stuff. For Tangiri Superior Room, we have the bed configuration is it's either one king bed or two single beds. Okay, so these are a little bit smaller than the rooms over in the main facility. Okay. For our yoga hall, sir, we have three types of room. The first one is the deluxe, uh, yakal deluxe room. The next one is the yakal junior executive room, and then the next one is the yakal governor suite room. Okay. This one is the yakal deluxe room. Uh, for the bed configuration, it, uh, we have here two queen beds. Two queen beds. So in the Yakal Suites, there are three levels. There are three levels of suites here. They have the Deluxe, they have the Junior Executive, and they have the Governor Suite. We looked at the Deluxe, which was on the first floor. I think they're all full occupancy right now, so we can't see the, uh, the Junior Executive, but this is the Governor's, the Governor's Suite right here. So this looks like, oh, I can see already, there's a lot of room up here. And like a a a, a mini kitchenette, a, a kitchenette, a kitchenette area. inside here. Oh, it looks like we got some extra bunk beds for the kids back inside of here. The maid's room. Oh, this is the this is the maid's room. <laughs> where do you where do you go in a hotel that has a maid's room? The Philippines, of course. <laughs> Lots of room. Two bedrooms. Yes, it has two two bedrooms. Okay, so we got this one right here. Well, something I just want to share with you that this unit is actually like a condo purchase. Uh, they have rentals here, but they also have purchases. If you want to purchase on property, they sell these units here as well. You can find out about that information when we provide the link at the end of today's episode. Now, as we're going over here to the Swedes, this building is called the Country Club. Yep. The Country Club building, the facility. And upstairs... We have two big indoor function halls, and two. we call it Robusta Hall and Arabica Hall, sir. Oh, okay. Like, like coffee? Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> it was named after the uh, coffee. Okay. It's good for... Uh, it can accommodate up to maximum of 200 to 300 Maximum years. of 200 people inside there yep. for, oh, okay, for some type of function or event. Here downstairs, on our right, we can, uh, we can see the club gym and then the male and female locker rooms. Here at, on our uh, left, Excelsior room, our indoor sports activities. Now, as you first approach into the country club, facility you'll see they have some sports activities and we're going to go into each one of the rooms that have sports uh, activities for you and your family uh, they have dart boards 
Uh, they have billiard tables inside here, and they also have bicycles so that you can uh, bicycle yourself with your, uh, your partner or with your family. They have all size for children, all the way up to adult size here. And right next to the sports area for the billiard tables, the bicycles, and the darts, they also have a club gym. So while you're here, you can actually stay fit. And when you're done doing your exercising and you're all sweaty, they even have a locker room back inside here for the, for the men and the women so that you go ahead and shower and prepare yourself for the rest of your day's activities. Now up on the second floor of the country club facility, they have the meeting rooms that we said earlier. The Arabica room over here and the Robust room. And if you look, it's very spacious, uh, holding up to 200 people for that really big event. If you have a wedding event, some type of a corporate event, you can do that here. And for those of you who need to get in your video karaoke fix, they even have KTV rooms inside here that you can go and enjoy that music and that little bit of singing that you really like here in the Philippines. Now just across from the country club that we were just visiting over there are the indoor courts. The indoor courts uh, have places where you can play things like badminton, uh, volleyball, um, basketball, uh, those type of outdoor, indoor type of activities, sports activities. Just across the hotel accommodations that we just looked at, there is the swimming pool. The swimming pool will accommodate up to 200 people inside here, and the depth is four foot deep. Well, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed today's video showcasing Mount Malarai Golf and Country Club here uh, just outside of Lipa City, uh, Batangas. We had a great time here today. I hope you got to see most of the amenities and the things that actually go on here. There's a lot of stuff that's going on here. And we'd like to give a special thanks and shout out to those who made this possible here today. And we're going to start with Jennifer Ligo, uh, who goes by the name of Bingle. Bingle she yeah. was the one who actually set everything up for us. She was the one who contacted the Thank general you. manager and uh, uh, did all the logistics for us to get out here on a, this specific date and, and and we thank her very much for that as well as the people she put in charge of us today to keep an eye on us to make yeah. sure we got to see everything we needed to see um, here today and that yeah. was that gospel and, and john. john they were very helpful yeah. with us here today and they uh, we had a great time anyway that's about it for today we're going to leave a link in the description box today uh, for any information if you're interested in, in golfing out here becoming a member looking at some properties whatever we'll leave the link inside the description block mm -hmm. uh, so uh, if you're interested it'll be there well if you enjoyed today's video please give us a thumbs up please share and if you have not subscribed just click on the little my PI dream heart and the bottom right hand side of your screen you'll be subscribed and if you ring that bell you'll be notified the next time we upload a new video so until such time from right here in the beautiful beautiful Philippines you have a wonderful and blessed day today's episode and you would like to see more just like these just click on one of the helpful links over to your right and you might be able to pick up on some good information on DIY projects how to or if you are interested in moving to the Philippines and building you'll find answers there as well <laughs>